What's going on guys? It is your boy Junior from PMP Customs coming back at you with another video. Today we have a 2020 Acura ILX pulling up to our shop. This is the same Acura ILX that was in the bumper removal video that I made and we also installed a Tesla style. So this guy's a good client. He's been here several times, but he's back yet again. But he's not back with complaints. He's back asking for more. Now check out that boring steering wheel, man. A lot of functions to recuperate, of course. Now since I'm talking about the steering wheel, you guys already know what we're going to do today. Bam! Check that out. So we're back and selling another steering wheel. Like I said, we are our merchandise holders or dealerships, whatever you want to call it. We do sell this kind of steering wheels, custom made. Um, not like mine. Um, this one's different. This one he had, he wanted it with red stitching, no stripe above, regular carbon fiber. And it looks absolutely sick. It's definitely gonna give the car a nicer, you know, interior look, especially with the digital screen. Check it out, man. This looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see it installed. And I know the client type too. So let's get ready to install it. I'm gonna start setting up the cameras and first we're gonna start removing the steering wheel. All right, so the first step in removing the steering wheel for this Acura ILX, same process for almost every single steering wheel removal remove the one of the terminals at least for the battery um, that way the airbag doesn't blow in your face all right so the first step in removing the acura ilx steering wheel um, is to remove the airbag cover or the horn cover now in order to do this there's going to be a hole on the side of the steering wheel see that there's going to be there's one there and then there's going to be one on this side see that is a t30 ladies and gentlemen t30 so go ahead and remove those two all right so after you remove those two t30s on the side of the steering wheel your airbag cover is now able to come loose but you don't want to remove it yet what you want to do is you want to uh, there's gonna be a panel here see this panel you're gonna get yourself a plastic popper pryer tool like I have right now I'm gonna pop that bad boy open let's see it should come off let's see there you go check that out very easy believe it or not there is no video on how to remove the Acura ILX uh, the 2020 at least uh, steering wheel so what I'm doing is I'm pretty much just copy and pasting the same procedure that I did on my TL so let me see how do I this should be able to come off let's see you, we want to disconnect this yellow connector oh I found out how you gotta lift this tab up I don't think you guys can see right there's a tab here I lifted it up in order to let the the uh, airbag connector come loose there you go, see that? So in order to uh, disconnect this airbag connector, let's see, I believe it has a lock. I believe this is a black lock here. See how I'm pushing that back? Okay, so after, okay, so just push this uh, black um, safety right back and it will pop off by itself. And of course the battery dies, bro. <laughs> All right, we're back with a new battery in the light so we just removed the airbag connector now we also have to remove this one just lift it both tabs up I think we have to move one side hopefully you guys can see there's two black tabs that are holding this in you push those out there you go and then let's see There you go. You push this tab. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I hope you guys can. You're going to have to squint. Um, but there's a tab on this connector. Just push this tab down. Wiggle left and right and it will come loose. I think those are the only two connections that you have to remove. So now we can take the steering wheel. Uh, not the steering wheel. I'm sorry. The airbag cover off. Okay. And now we can remove the airbag cover. Just wiggle left and right and it will come loose. Check that out. Very simple. Now that you got that out of the way, now all that's prohibiting us from removing the steering wheel is this giant screw here. And then we have to, we also have to unplug this uh, harness. 
there's a tab at the top you got to push that down and pull outwards can I do it with one hand no I can't I'm gonna use I'm gonna need my two hands for that one um, but then also this is a 10 that I'm gonna be using to remove that giant screw see I'm using a 10 um, so you can either use a wrench or an impact drill but I'm gonna go ahead and get those two out of the way now that we got that giant screw out of the way we can now uh, press down on this tab see this tab right here press down on it shimmy left and right there you go and that is all you had to do to remove the steering wheel so just give it like a little jabs that way it comes loose from the actual frame let me see am i missing something okay so you just i thought i was missing something but it's just you got to pull it straight out like that see and just make sure not to move the clock spring oh i think there's another plug there there was no nope, that was not another plug it was just that you have to shimmy the this harness out from here and it comes off very freely check that out so now you got an acura ilx steering wheel in your hands so we're gonna go ahead and clean out a table i'm gonna put this one aside from the um the carbon fiber led one we're gonna have them next to each other and we're gonna start transferring buttons and kits all right so these are the two steering wheels i already showed you guys what the carbon fiber one looked like uh, but we're going to be doing is we're going to be transferring these harnesses these buttons and usually you would have to transfer over the um they call it the kit panel which would be this trim that surrounds the buttons not in this steering wheel because it comes with its own carbon fiber panel if you notice that it's taped see i think that's pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and start um disassembling this steering wheel the original one we're going to take everything out of here and then one by one transfer it over all right so just follow along with me and this should be easy all right like i said we're going to start focusing on this one first so um if you look closely let's see if you guys can see there is one screw here the black screws another screw here they're going to be hidden uh this one right here and then there's one here on each corner so go ahead and remove those four um phillips screws right There you go. You guys saw that after I removed those four screws, uh, the back panel was able to come loose. All right, so now that we got the back panel off, it reveals a whole bunch of screws. We got one here, one here, one here, um, one here, one here, one up there, one down here. The good news is that you don't have to remove all those. You just have to remove them, what you need to transfer. So uh, for example, we're gonna be transferring these shifter pads. Let's go ahead and do this one instead. important you see how there's a ground here you're gonna put this ground not the specific wire but on the other one you're gonna put that ground exactly where this one was uh, was screwed into because that means that there's good ground there if you put it somewhere else then maybe that it may be like a little loose or maybe not good ground which may cause some issues in the long run so I'm gonna remember that this was here and when I'm installing it on the new one I'm gonna put my ground there as well
All right, so before we bring the, damn, like a huge truck is passing by right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, before you start bringing the new steering wheel over, we have to remove the this kit panel here. Because remember, I told you guys that the new steering wheel comes in a new carbon fiber one. Because we just need the buttons. At the end of the day, we just need the buttons. Nothing more. All right, so um, we're going to start prying this loose. You can see that it's held in with clips. Hopefully you guys can see that. So if I pry it like this, see how it came loose? But um, it's not only held in with those clips. It's also held in with a couple of screws, like mini screws. See that one right there? That one right here? I think it's just held in with two. So let's go ahead and remove those two mini screws. Let me go get a mini screwdriver. Remove these tiny little screws. Don't lose them. Do not lose them. So that's one. Set that aside. Yeah, same. I'm hoping that these are the, the screws for the buttons. Let's see. I think they are. So now if I pry this loose, it should theoretically all come loose. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Missing. I think I'm missing something here. I mean, technically I can just break these since I got new ones. But let me chill, let me chill. <laughs> well, so let's go ahead and enter a, uh, a speed time lapse until I figure it out. So let's see how long it takes me. I'm stupid. I just have to tug on it with a little more force. I, I hate it. I hate working on cars for that reason, bro, because you feel like you have to be very like fragile. You have to, it's like very fragile. You have to be very soft with it. But the reality of it, when you're working on cars, bro, if you're not tough, if you're not putting any force on it, and if you're scared to break things, it's, it's going to be harder for you. So, um, yeah, it's just those two screws and just straight clips. You guys saw that I literally just pulled it out. I was just not tugging on it hard enough. Um, so let's go ahead and do the same process here. There's a screw here. Two screws out of the way. All right, so now we can just tug on it. And this time we can actually apply some force and not be afraid. See what happens when you're not afraid? Easy. If you're afraid, then you're just gonna have a harder time. So now we can start bringing the steering wheel over. Yay! I'm a Weasley little liar, guys. <laughs> uh, no, we're not ready for the steering wheel yet. We have to, we just removed these panels. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new ones before we bring the steering wheel over. We're gonna have everything ready before we actually start installing stuff. So you can see what I mean where you get new kit panels. I think this is absolutely sick. Damn, let me just get closer to the camera. That is beautiful. All right, and you can feel that it's real, like real carbon fiber. Like it's not like hard plastic. Um, so let's go ahead and install them. So it's the same idea to plug in place. Just push them in, it's gonna clip. Oh, you gotta love those clipping sounds. So just go ahead and install the screws again, the mini screws that I believe are these. So let's go ahead and put those back in. That way it stays in. Okay, it's not going in. Why are we not going in? Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Next. Patience, 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 gentlemen, patience. Uh, and this one here. Okay, look at that. You have one side done. So let's go ahead. Oh, damn, I'm not even showing you guys. <laughs> I'm freaking dumb, yo. Hopefully, you guys could, could seem like, you know, like a little bit. I gotta fix my camera angle. Look at that. Does that look good? That's amazing. So now we can start bringing the steering wheel over. All right, so the hard part now is to remember how all of this was. That's the purpose of me telling you not to lose the layout.
So now that we got everything um, put back together, all that's left is to put the original screws back in. So we're gonna start off with the ground. Remember I told you guys in, earlier in the video to not forget what the ground was. See the same ground? So we're gonna put that on the same hole that it was in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, matter of fact, uh, take advantage of this. The LED screen, if you bought the steering wheel with an LED screen, you have a power and ground wire, as you can see. Um, so go ahead and uh, get the ground wire, which will be the black. And then you're also gonna connect it where the ground, or the original ground was. I'm gonna connect it right here. All right, so let me give you guys an insight on uh, how I'm doing this, kind of like a quick summary. So this is pretty much the idea of what it's gonna look like. Pretty sick, right? Um, but Junior, how do I do my wiring? That's what I'm gonna show you. Calm down, guys, calm down. So um, I told you guys that you're gonna use the original ground. See how I, that's, this is, the, this is the original ground and that's my ground. So the way I ran it, that way it looks factory and it doesn't get like, um, hit or, or uh, what's it called, squished or um, um, what's it called, like parted by tightening some stuff. Um, what I did was, why am I saying um a lot? I stutter a lot, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> oh, there you go, I go again. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me chill, let me chill. So uh, I ran it from, um, the, cab the cable comes from back here, right? So I ran it between here, right? And then I, I, I uh, you can see I twisted it. That way it looks a lot more like organized, you can say. And then I ran it through the original grommet. See that? Through here, and that's my ground. We're gonna follow it. I ran it through here. And then from here, from back here, I ran it towards the back. See? See? And then um, this battery, I mean, uh, not battery, this is gonna be your ignition. That way every time you turn on the vehicle, this turns on. If you connect it to um, the battery, or not the battery, any kind of constant power, um, the battery will die. So that's not good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to connect this afterwards. Um, so don't worry about the power yet. Just worry about getting your ground right. But I'm just letting you guys know because since we're putting everything back together, make sure your ground is nice and tight. Make sure nothing's wrong there. And let's continue putting this stuff back together. This is awesome. Check it out. I think it's sick, man. It's like I'm. All, it, I feel like I'm installing my my steering wheel again. <laughs> you know, with all the excitement, I think the client's gonna love it, man. How is he not gonna love this? Um, like I said, test all of your buttons. Make sure that they all go down and stuff. It may be that if they don't go down, then you might have tightened it too hard. But as in my case, everything goes down. Perfectly. All right. Let's head on to the next step, gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we have everything done, everything screwed in, the only thing left to do before we install it is to connect the power. So as you guys know, uh, the horn is constant. When you're installing these steering wheels, it's always connected to the horn. This connector here, they all look the same. This is going to be your power. So now you, you can either uh, connect it with a... Uh, a cocker draw uh, plug or you can hardwire it I preferably like to hardwire so that's what exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sh come back to you guys when I'm done with that all right and then that's how your power should look see how I uh, hardwired it and then I put a zip tie on top of my hardwire that way it never comes off so after you're done with that now we can bring it inside the vehicle all right so now we can start installing you can see I have the steering wheel on my lap now important thing to notice or to talk about if the clock spring moves, fix it. Do not let it move and leave it like that because it's gonna ruin your alignment. See how I have it straight up? 
I'm gonna keep it that way. If I see that it moves, I am going to completely stop the installation, go out and start over. All right, it's important that it stays straight up, all right? So we're gonna pass this um, towards the bottom part here. See where my finger's at? We're gonna pass it through there and then start connecting our wiring. I don't have, unfortunately I don't have like an angle or like a mount to put on the car to show you guys how I put it back on. But if I showed you guys how to take it off, then it's pretty much the same thing in reverse. All right, so good luck with that. And I'm gonna meet you guys when I do have it on. Boom. And check out that gorgeous steering wheel, guys. Isn't that absolutely sick? I think this is the best steering wheel in terms of looks. I don't know, I just really like how it looks. It, it, it kind of has like a unique shape or something. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I just really love it. Um, and then you have the colors up here. Something different about our company that's not the same with the others is that some companies don't allow you to change your colors. Did you guys see how it was red and green before? You can also have them blue and pink. You can have them like green and whatever. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. But yeah, it's uh, very customizable. Long press the right one to enter. We're gonna do that. There you go. And then the LED color. There you go, look at that. So you go for classic, club, Tron, rainbow, phantom. Like there's like so many colors that you can go through. Is there one more? There is, there, there's so many colors to go through. Um, I like this red one though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this is what we have to offer you guys in the Acura ILX. So you guys see that the red stitching, the red uh, stripe, carbon fiber, of course, the black leather, uh, the LED screen with the RPM monitor. You guys know we do it best here at PNP. Like I said, this is fully customizable. You can tell me, yo, Junior, I want like uh, blue leather with green stitching, uh, Ford's carbon fiber, not carbon fiber. And uh, I want this stripe to be gray. Um, and I don't want an LED screen. Like you, could, you can like customize it yourself, yourself. You tell me exactly what you want and I'll get you a good quote. So this is what we have to offer you guys in the Acura ILX. I think it's almost the same thing for the TLX. If you guys are loving what you're seeing, definitely give us a call. Quotes are free. Um, and if you want to speak to me specifically, just uh, ask for Junior and I'll take care of you. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If it helped you on the install as well, you know, supporting me is free. So giving it a like, maybe a subscribe. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. So you guys know we do the best here at PNP. For any questions, just give us a call.